Hey everyone, I'm Chad, and today we're going to dig into one of my favorite innovations at Pure, Pure One. Pure One is a cloud-based management and support platform that enables our users to visualize their entire fleet of arrays in one single pane of glass. But we didn't stop there. Pure One Meta is the next big innovation. Meta is our AI engine built on a large global sensor network. Our arrays phone home telemetry data every 30 seconds, which results in over a trillion data points per day, and uses machine learning to help customers better manage and support their environments. We take this intelligence and provide useful information to our customers, partners, and even our support organization to get a real-time view of the health of these arrays. Meta uses machine learning from over 100,000 workloads to provide better understanding of workload behavior and allow prediction of capacity and performance usage. Meta also uses fingerprinting technology to predict issues before they become customer impactful. With this technology, we've avoided hundreds of outages. There is no extra cost for Pure One, so say goodbye to licenses and additional infrastructure. But enough talking about it. Let's dig into the demo and showcase how you can leverage the global predictive intelligence of Pure One Meta to understand your workloads. Let's dig in. When you log into Pure One, you're presented with a card view. Each one of the cards is a storage array. You get a bunch of great metrics here, including your total capacity utilization per array, data reduction, latency, IOPS, and bandwidth. You can click on a particular array if you want to go to that directly. You can also sort each one of these arrays by various different metrics, percent full, read, write, latency, a bunch of great metrics so you can see each one of your cards in your entire environment. If you want to see what alerts have occurred on that array, you can click on the top right hand corner of the card. The card will flip and you can see all of the subsequent alerts. If you want to get deeper metrics, you can go to our expanded card view. The first is the capacity. You can break out each one of the capacity into buckets and see what your volume space, snapshot space, and the like is. You can also see a 13-month view of the total capacity. So you can compare this month last year and then see how it's trended up over time. In the unlikely event that you have some sort of hardware failure, you can go in and select any of the hardware components and highlight over, let's say, the one that's failed and see exactly what it is. On the performance side, you can go and see real-time analytics as of the last 30 seconds, or the new telemetry data that came in. And then you can see six hours worth of performance and highlight over any point in time. Next, let's jump to the global dashboard. And what's great here is, is we aggregate all the information for all your flash arrays and flash blades into one single view, including capacity utilization, your total data reduction, projected capacity for arrays that are gonna be running out of capacity soon, the top five, you also can see the top five arrays for most performance. Down below, you can sort a top five for any of the metrics within the system, including latency, IOPS, and bandwidth, whether it be at an array or volume level. You can also see the top five for your load on any of the systems and be able to sort if you like within that. On the right-hand side, we have recent alerts on the system, so you can see all of those, as well as your most updated information on all of your replication. Now let's jump to the Analytics tab. On our Analytics tab, we have a new feature called Meta Workload Planner. One of the biggest challenges out there is predicting performance. With Pure One Meta, we created a model that captures the thousands of variables that impact workload behavior. We call this model Workload DNA. The Workload Planner is the first way in which customers leverage workload DNA. We use this metric called flash array load, which is a percentage from zero to 100, and it represents how busy an array is. We take all of those complex interactions and provide our customers with a single metric that is easy to understand. Diving into the forecast section is as easy as just specifying which metric you'd like to look at. So in this case, I'm gonna look at the max load and sort by that. I'll pick the top array. And then now below, I can actually see my capacity and my load forecast. And I can specify different durations. In this case, I'll go over the last six months, although you can set it all the way out to the last year. We then will project the max performance at what percentage and how long it will take, as well as the total capacity, you'll see when you'll run out of capacity at both 90% and 100% full. Now, if you wanna get historical analytics, you can jump to the performance or capacity section. Let's start off here with the performance section. You can see all of your arrays, but you can also specify all of your volumes. You can search for each of those, or you can specify and sort by all of the different metrics from latency, IOPS, bandwidth, and even load, and be able to see the last hour average, the uh, maximum, and be able to sort by each of those. 
If you select on a particular array, all of the results come out below, and you can highlight over any period of time to specify that and actually make it bigger to zoom in on that particular period. Highlighting over this will give you all of the metrics in a much deeper version. Going over to the capacity section, you can see all of your arrays as well. You can see the last 30 days worth of growth from a percentage as well as a nice little graph. You can see how full they are and a breakout of all the capacity similar to what we saw in the detailed card view. Selecting on a few arrays, you can go ahead and uh, see the historical capacity analysis similar to what we saw in the forecast, just the ones in the past. Jumping over to replication shows you all of your different replication jobs in one view, and you can select on any of those jobs to see exactly if it's been completed, how long it took to complete, and how much data you had sent over to the other site. The last two sections are messages and support. Under messages, you can see all of the alerts as well as an audit log for your arrays for the last 13 months. Down on support, you can see all of your open cases as well as your closed cases and open up a new case if you'd like. But what's even better is you can see all of this from your mobile app and get push alerts for any alert on the arrays as well as open up new cases or contact support. Pure One delivers effortless management and support allowing you to spend more time on growing your business. Stay tuned for additional innovations as we develop more AI and machine learning to deliver a truly self-driving platform. To learn more, visit our website at purestorage.com or our blog. Until next time, stay flashy, my friends.